The Jeep is a 1975 CJ5. Basically full blown bare frame restoration start to finish. Every bolt was touched, every piece of it was touched. When it came in, I was pretty excited about it, but I knew every, every piece of it was gonna have to be replaced. It was basically a rolling chassis with a rusty motor inside that was wide open and um, boxes and boxes of parts. The overall feel we were going for with this Jeep is simple. Late 60s, early 70s muscle cars. First off, the look of this was supposed to be blue with an old school 75 Renegade stripe. We found this, which is a, uh, a hard find. It's a hood scoop off of a 1970 Hearst, uh, Hearst Jeepster Commando. And so we use that as the centerpiece for the vehicle. So it has a built-in tachometer, and of course you got the Hearst emblems on there. So, and then we added the striping package to match what the Hearst was because that's what they look like. Onto the interior, we kept the dash fairly simple. Customer's kind of a bigger guy, so I put a Flaming River tilt steering column in it. All these mounts are fabricated by myself to hold this in here. Other than that, we got it just nice and clean looking. Carpet kit, customer actually had these things wrapped in uh, cowhide, like that's real cow. Next going around, he needed a top. He, he decided he didn't want a roll bar at this time, but I did put a top on for him, so we went with the best top super top. I use them in all my builds. Very easy top to use, very versatile. We were going back and forth on wheels. I had these wheels laying in my shed and I gave them to him, but I told him, I said, here's a stipulation. They gotta be painted white and we gotta do a pinstripe on them. So that's what we ended up with and it was the right choice. It, it takes you back to the 70s, but with a new flair to them. Coming around the back, I don't like Jeep taillights, I never did. So I always add old car taillights. These are from a uh, Ford Model A. So just something different and I got the blue dot in there kind of bringing back the 50s and 60s, keeping the old school vibe going. Um, I do this for the creativity of it. Um, it. It's a challenge first off to take everything apart and be able to put it back together. It's like building a giant model car. Um, plus you get to put some artistic touches on it and some little details here and there. Over here, you heard me mention that I like to put little weird details in. I added a antique bottle opener to the dashboard. And again, we have the Hearst emblem just to carry the theme on, as well as the Hearst shift knobs. Under the hood's where the muscle is. This had a rusted out 304 in it that was left wide open by the previous builder. Whole inside was rust. So we started with a brand new 360. Uh, motor is mildly built. We put a DUI high energy ignition system in it. Edelbrock four barrel carburetor and intake hooker headers, four wheel drive aluminum radiator. This thing scoots, it's really fast. What I like about the old Jeeps like this, um, CJ's take me back to being a kid. I've had one ever since I was a kid, I grew up with them. So it's a time capsule for me. You're, you're keeping a piece of history alive, like this should be in a junkyard right now. And it's not, it's brand new.